Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my summer essentials. I feel like a super chill like summer girl because I have like my sunglasses on my head. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about all of my favorite things for summer and I'm going to be talking about smelly stuff, some makeup, skincare, and of course I have some fashion stuff. So these are going to be products that I'm going to use a lot this summer or that I feel like are essential for my summer. Y'all like my shirt and my makeup? I'm not sure if I've posted this yet. It's either up or will be up next. If you're wondering, I got this shirt at Target. This is so cute and this is a summer central right? I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. I'm going to start with skincare, body care, things like that. One skincare product, one hand products and one sunscreen. I'll just talk about my scents while I'm doing that too. If you're going to purchase one thing from this video, I've talked about this literally so much on my channel that if you've watched any of my other videos, then you've probably heard about it. The Mario Badescu facial sprays are awesome. I have all three and I love all three and I would totally recommend all three. The one that I've been using recently because I just want to feel like summer and like refreshed and all that, I've been using the cucumber one and the rose one as well because I feel like these two are just the most summery ones. And the lavender one I'll use at night to kind of calm me down. They are like a setting spray for your skincare. They're just like a refresher throughout the day. They make you feel so cool. You see how fine the mist is. I spray this on top of my makeup. I spray this after my skincare. I spray this throughout the day. It makes your skin look so glowy. It's literally the best. It makes your skin look so glowy and dewy and it's just cooling and it makes you feel refreshed. It sinks in the powders of your makeup. It refreshes your makeup if you need to do that. You just need it. It's a summer essential. I use it all the time, all day, all year round. It's kind of going along with skincare. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Natural Protection Sunscreen. It's SPF 50. I've never found a sunscreen that works besides this one because all sunscreens always burn my face and I should probably get a new one because it's probably expired. Oh, March 2015. Well, it still works, but okay. I mean, it smells like sunscreen. It has a white cast. I don't really care because this is the one that doesn't burn my face. It's not expensive because I don't want to spend money on a sunscreen. I have super pale skin and I get burnt really easily. My face is pretty much always the thing that doesn't get burnt. Everything else does, but my face doesn't <laughs> because this is great. This is for sensitive skin and it's fragrance free with soothing oats. So, I mean, it makes sense. This is the only sunscreen I've ever been able to find to use on my face that doesn't burn it. I've even tried like baby sunscreen. It doesn't work. Definitely recommend this if you have the same problem as me. Next, I'm going to mention a soap because this smell, I love these soaps. It's the Miss Myers Clean Day Aroma Therapeutic Household Products. This is the hand soap and this is the honeysuckle scent. I discovered this because I used the lavender one at night to calm me down. I love this soap so much it cleans your hands so well it actually removes makeup from your hands really well as well it just comes in handy for me it smells just like honeysuckles flowers it just smells literally like summer i'm literally obsessed with the smell of honeysuckle you can get this at target i definitely recommend you go smell this and they literally have like a whole line of stuff this is like a more natural brand which i really like this smells really good it cleans your hands really well because i hate when soaps make your hands feel like they have like a film on it and you can never get it off and it doesn't dry them out but it doesn't moisturize them either so like i mean you know i feel like i do need a lotion after i wash my hands with anything this bottle's like four dollars and it's 12.5 fluid ounces going along with like hand smelly stuff i use bath and body works I use their shower gels i use their soaps i use their body sprays i use their lotions i don't find their lotions the most moisturizing i do really like the actual smells if you really do like bath and body works whether that's their wallflowers lotions hand soaps shower gels whatever i feel like this was like a pretty universal i do just have the lotion in this one the body mist is in my car hand sanitizer is somewhere else my favorite bath and body works smell for summer is beautiful day it's the best the packaging has changed i don't know how to even describe it i just know that you need it maybe there's a description on here go crazy for this daydreamy blend of daisies pink peonies sun-kissed apples and sparkling I smell the apples and the flowers, but I'm not really a florally person. This doesn't smell like flowers to me. I don't know what this smells like, but it smells so good and you just need to smell it. We'll move on to makeup. This is pretty much all skin stuff. I just wanted to mention my Dewy Illuminating Primers. This is all I'm going to be wearing this summer as primers. And I'll also wear them on the top of the cheekbones when I'm not wearing makeup, like down the center of the face, all that good stuff. It just 
so pretty, so moisturizing. They feel so cooling, girl. I have the Wet n Wild one under my makeup today. The ones that I had tried in the past, I always was like, why would I even put this on, like, under my makeup? I'm just gonna cover them up with, like, concealer powder and all that. They both shine through so much. When I put my powder on, you could still see the Wet n Wild one through it. And I know it's the same thing with the AOA Studio one. There's the AOA Studio one, and then there's the Wet n Wild one. There's Pretty much no difference the one round one's a little more like tan i've talked about both of those a lot recently but it's fine the next product is this catrice liquid camouflage concealer i haven't talked about this in a while i use this in my no makeup makeup look i still use that all the time so i'm gonna link it up here i stopped using this pretty much after like i went through that phase or whatever i pulled it back out because my face just wasn't looking as natural as it did when i did that routine i pulled this back out and used it and i was like why did i ever stop using this it's really thin really natural looking and it's really dewy, glowy, everything like that, but it lasts really well. It's not full coverage, I don't think, but I love this. It just looks so healthy. It looks good under the eyes. It's just really pretty. I really recommend it. I feel like this is going to be my lifesaver for the summer, not just for the summer, but for the rest of my life. This is the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. This is actually like magic in a bottle, if you didn't know that. This is probably the most that I use of a setting spray just because I really want to get like the good benefits out of it. I do three sprays here, one here, one here. But it literally drenches your face. I still love the spritzer on this. It's still really fine and you never get any chunks. It's always a fine mist. Like you see this dew on my forehead? Like that's kind of a combination. Mostly of this, but it's also me spraying this like a jillion times under and over my makeup. It literally melts every powder into your skin. This literally makes your skin the most natural looking I've ever seen my skin look. It's the best part of my makeup now you do not need to put this on after your mascara like do it before your mascara you can do it after eyeshadow anything like that especially your lower lashes i did it after my fall season i had the mascara on them and it was fine my lower lashes no girl don't do it it will stamp your makeup then it's impossible to get off because it's set in it's magic it's magic that's all I gotta say. I was gonna mention a lip gloss, the Elf Peach Bellini lip gloss. That's my favorite. That's gonna be what I'm using this summer, but I don't want to be like that thing. I don't. I don't really know what I'm saying. I'll do accessories before I go to like fashion, and fashion is literally just shorts, but it's fine. So the first thing I'm gonna mention are these sunglasses. This is gonna be annoying for the next few seconds because you're gonna see like all this brightness. Let me tell you, these are from Five Below. I've been looking for some like cute sunglasses. If you watch my drive with me, I have my Dollar Tree ones that are like this. They're just like all black and i love them i just wanted to be cuter they have the blue green like reflection thing the only thing is i'm not gonna be able to wear these during drive with these because they're literally like a mirror and then you'll be able to see where i live sorry normally cute sunglasses don't work at all i see people with sunglasses on and the light is tinting and i'm like what's the point of that i have to have the sun blocked out of my face because if not we're gonna have a problem so i just thought i'd put them on my head since this is like a summer video the next one y'all haven't seen because i never did like my little amazon haul vlog thing this is like a little camera thing it goes for my g7x you know it's like cute and like touristy or whatever it's like this cute terracotta color and it goes with like everything i've always wanted something where i can have my camera but it also be cute i've always just had like a wrist strap on my camera so that's not that cute it screws in the camera on the bottom and then you can screw a tripod in here which i was like yes honey bunch because i need a tripod in there you can also just detach that thing and just have it in this which i'll probably do because this is kind of annoying this is just kind of there to like protect the camera I really like this. I'm just gonna leave this on because now I feel real thirsty. Now on to like fashion. I'm definitely not into fashion. I like being modest. Like I don't like showing my butt off. It's really hard to find like long enough shorts that aren't literally like to the middle of your knee. I always wear like flowy shorts and it is kind of hard sometimes to find like long enough flowy shorts but they're a lot easier to find than jean shorts i think all of these are actually from target this pair i think this is actually from like two years ago but they're really stretchy flowy if i'm actually doing something then i'll just wear like spandex or something underneath it i just have like this black pair i haven't seen any of these at target because i got all these like last year but they still have cute ones i love flowy shorts that's what i live in i wear t-shirts and flowy shorts I like it no i don't look cute i know but it's fine recently i was at walmart i wear like the same two pairs of nike short type things but i don't like nikes why spend that much money plus they're not that long these are from walmart and they were like seven dollars they do look pretty big i got an extra small they do look bigger than normal shorts but they're long these are super cute they're just like that material and they have that built-in underwear i don't really like but you know it's fine i love those shorts and they are seven dollars from walmart it's worth it to go check your walmart to see if they have them honestly the palette's probably gonna be a summer essential for it to me too but y'all didn't ask this is probably gonna be a summer essential 
gentle for me too, but y'all didn't ask. Just telling ya. I was gonna put a lot more makeup in here. It's not realistic. Honestly, Netflix is my summer essential. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below. And please check out any of my other videos. Also, please leave any of your recommendations down below. I'm really trying to be creative with my makeup. But if you want some more natural looks or creative looks or summer looks or not makeup looks, challenges, anything like that, tell me anything you want me to do. I will do it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!